when you look at the vote tonight, Parliament has spoken, the House of Commons has spoken, it, was, it would now be going to the Senate. Um, Kelowna is very, very much alive. Um, and it, I hope uh, that it will become the law of the land. And let me just be very clear on that. Um, governments expect the people uh, to obey the law of the land. Well, I've got, a new, I've got news for this government. The people expect them to obey the law of the land. And I just do not know how this government can turn its back on the youngest and the fastest growing segment of our population, First Nations, the Métis Nation, um, and the Inuit. I've got to, let me just say one thing to you. This, this is a very important vote. The House of Commons has spoken. Um, and I think that all of us feel very good about that. The, the fundamental issue is that this country is wealthy. This country was not built on, a, on the kind of discrimination that says that one segment of the population is going to have lower health care outcomes, lower educational uh, opportunities than the other. This country was built on equal opportunity, and that means the same health care that everybody else has, the same uh, drink, clean drinking water that everybody else has, and the same kind of access to education. That's what Kelowna was all about. That's why this vote was so important. And I, I must say that I do not believe that the Canadian people will stand for anything else than fairness among all of its people. Thanks very much, folks. Thank you. Thank you. This budget uh, contains over $10 billion of public expenditures. There will be more than $10 billion in expenditures in 2007-2008 on Aboriginal programs and services. The lion's share of that uh, are expended for on-reserve uh, programs and services to about 450,000 people. That's an awful lot of money, and it's money that uh, I think both Aboriginal people and non-Aboriginal people want to see results with. Think respect. the leaders aren't buying it, though. Well, I could tell you that um, this is the, uh, in 2007, 2008, this will be the largest expenditures in the history of the Government of Canada on Aboriginal programs and services. I can also tell you that it is a full billion dollars more than the last Liberal budget under Mr. Martin put before the House of Commons. So there's significant sums and we'll continue to work and make progress.